where a number of growing small firms going green in business starts with green construction. In the United States, buildings account for nearly 40% of total energy use, 12% of water consumption, and 38% of carbon dioxide emissions. More states and cities are adopting regulations that encourage or require small businesses to be green and energy efficient. I know that in other cities um, across the country, there are, they are giving incentives to developers, for example, to, um, to have LEED certified buildings um, and do green roofs and various other things. The green movement has to take place on the local grassroots level and that if anything's going to change, if behavior is going to change, building is going to change, we need to really emphasize that on a local level. So cities are really getting on board. Green buildings use 30% less energy on average than a standard building. But do cost savings mean a return on investment for green buildings? Well, from a new construction standpoint, uh, all the data indicates that a new building doesn't cost any more to make by using green technologies. And that's because of the availability of new products that are environmentally responsible uh, and the new technologies that really focus on energy savings. From a retrofit environment, you might spend a little bit of more money up front, but at the end, because of the energy savings and the energy efficiency, there's certainly a payback over the life of the building. Now, a small business owner does not have to start from the ground floor to make green building improvements. So understanding where your energy is being used and then taking steps to reduce it. For example, automating lighting and automating the temperature in a building so it's not too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter has immediate economic benefit. You'll find more ways to make your small business operation more environmentally friendly on SBTV.com. I'm Grant Murphy for SBTV.com, where small business is our only business.